gonna start recording. I've been wanting to do this video for a minute, but hello everybody, it's Ace. Uh, back to you guys another deck profile video slash a little more matches for Master Duel. I haven't been able to post too much, but uh, I've been trying to get to it. You know, if you guys haven't checked out my latest video, it's about Plunder Patrol, one of my favorite decks. But I did have to dismantle it for some stuff. I didn't because uh, I got um, I always like to try different decks in the game, but. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get it back. As I was doing, it, I was like, ah, damn it! But same with my gems for and everything. But I actually wanted to guys wanted to show you um, a little budget deck I've been working on for a little bit. Uh, I had in my had in my deck was for a while actually, but I never actually showed it too much dueling wise. Cause sometimes it lose, sometimes it don't. You know what I mean? But first, I want, I want to get into a rank game actually, and then. Kind of show you, show you some stuff, maybe like a win and a loss. It's actually where is oh my, my witchcrafters today. Witchcrafters are a very fun deck, and you can do some crazy stuff into it. You know, it's all about think about like um, kind of the spellcaster version of Sky Packers, only you don't have like an extra deck with the monsters, but you can still do all some crazy things. Let me turn this down. That's what my TV is a little bit loud. I'm trying to do this video. There are there are also different versions of this deck that I haven't really been testing out yet because I haven't played Witchcrafters in a while. I've just been meaning to do a video on them because I think they're actually a very cool and fun deck. Uh, let me go first, actually. But hey, man, hand traps though. Oof. Bread and butter. I need to actually get more of them. To tell you the truth. For any deck that I'm playing, I just I just really need to have them hand traps handy. See, this this hand isn't so bad because I can actually go for a search. So this this witchcrafter creation searches for a witchcrafter card. The thing about them is, um, so the spell cards can come back to your hand only if you didn't actually activate the that certain spell effect that turn or something. It's kind of hard to say. So if I go for something like this and discard my I can discard this one because I don't need it and summon out my girl. This, this she is so cool. Witchcraft the madam. I think that's how you say it. She's kind of like the negate slash like big boss monster into the game. She's so fun. She is so fun. Um, this one I'm actually going to banish because her banish effect allows me to send a witchcrafter spell and track card to the deck or monster. The main idea you want to go for the spell and track card, so they come in handy. So I'll send this one as a protection. In phase, you can add this to my hand because I didn't use it as like I use didn't use it as a spell card, and then I can play this because. This is the one I said. Not like an amazing board, but I have some protection with my Witchcrafter Golem. I only have one of her, so and I said this is like a budget for real deck, but it helps out. Right, what do you got? Uh, Destroy a target with this monster. Um, yeah, I got to because I won't have no protection if it is. I can add this to my hand. This still gets destroyed though. Oh no, I don't. You can activate the effect of this. Oh, I shouldn't even have did my effect then if it was going to do something like that. Okay. Another thing about Mana is she actually gets um, attack gain too for the thing. So, oh, she's, she's really cool. I don't have the Witchcrafter, um, uh, what's the one that like, targets spell and track cards on the field? That's what I want to have right now, because he has a lot of stuff for that. And the only other Witchcrafter that can destroy like cards by themselves is actually the other one in my hand. Master Ribbon! That's actually a great card. Um, We're going for this one. This will allow me to have the 
the spell cards in that, that specific spell card I need in the graveyard. Give me this one. I special summon one monster. I will special summon. Hmm. So you gotta be face up for this. So that's kind of a hard, hard thing to do for. Let's go for this. And then. You go for the banish effect and search the spell card I need. Only it goes to the graveyard, sadly, so I won't be able to use it the first turn, but I'll have it in my hand for one thing. And I can get that spell card too. I mean this one. Mm, I don't really know if I can go for another play, but I will target my to get that attack twice ability. She's the only one that's going to attack this turn, so. Vampire? Well, in order to use Mana Effect, you actually need to have the uh, Witchcraft the Spell cards in your hand. So I, <laughs> I didn't have the Witchcraft the Spell cards in my hand. But I will activate this. I'll have it add to my hand, and then I will activate, or have it to my hand too. For extra deck options, I would say for Witchcraft, because you don't really, you can put anything in there, really. Actually, now that I'm thinking, I can actually run that level 8, that rank 8 dragon that everyone's talking about. <laughs> or everyone has, you know. I only use my extra deck for um, my other pot, so nothing too crazy. <sighs> what you got? Dawn. What you got, Dawn. Okay, he didn't have nothing. It was just my chain, that's all it was. But she is so golem. If you ever think about making this deck, golem is like. I'm probably saying her name wrong. She is so fun. I know what familiar does, though. Especially someone with itself. I actually have fun with vampires, too. I'm actually going to activate this. Mainly because I can summon out my other uh, Hazy, Hazy. I think that's how you say the name of that. To possibly stop a play. I want to get rid of Monster Reborn. I might have to. <laughs> I want to get rid of Monster Reborn though. And that actually might come in handy sometimes. You can run a variety of spells. I actually think about running solid that solitary card because I just run spell cast or so. And you can splash in other things too. I seen witchcraft is being splashed into uh Magus what Magestus thing place. Ah probably butchering it wrong, don't mention me on that. Uh familiar will sacrifice itself for no you get the ass book. You know, I, I will, I will. Because that's a dangerous play. I won't destroy it, I'm just going to have it as a thing. And this one is Vampire Takeover. That's fine. Vampires are actually a cool day too. I, I made it, but I never have to make a video of them, so I apologize if I ever, like... People were looking for a vampire video, a vampire deck video or something. All oh, vampires are so fun. I was a menace with that deck, bro. Gaining life points. Oh, <laughs> it, it's so fun playing vampires. Alright. Uh, no. And she doesn't get her effect either because she's... Well, she didn't get her effect me because she was playing normal summon. Can we get a surrender though? No. <laughs> I'm hoping we can. Some people like to play play it out though. I can't I can't blame them. Some people like to play stuff out. 
That's where all my deck is in a one turn like win or something. I just I'm just trying to interrupt and trying to make plays off what I have. Most of the time you don't want the big boss monsters in your hand, I'll tell you too. You wanna to have the little ones so you can special summon them off of stuff. The only ones you really want in your hand is actually uh the the, the golem. I'm not sure if to express some myself in a graveyard too. With your hand, if you do return that target hand. Okay, no, you can express something from the graveyard. You control or targets it for attack. You can target one of your opponent's cards, control or one. Summon this target from your hand. Alright, going in phase. Alright. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of another card like that. Siphon and Drive, bro. Sometimes I always draw this man. I'm so pissed off by it, too. Okay, what we got? Uh, in the graveyard, we have her. She has the effect of. I didn't work to craft the spell from my graveyard. Wait, no, wait, I read that wrong. I got, oh yeah, she copies, uh, she copies one of them. Mm. I only have one of you, so I can't do that. Um, maybe go for the other attack? That's what I'm trying to think of right now. Uh, no. I can't play another. I got all big boss bosses in my hand right now. This is a damn shame. Like right, what you got, buddy? I can't activate my effect. But I believe his car gets banished. I got 24. Oh, it can be any spell. Take that back. I've, I've read my own card if wrong. It can be any spell card. Damn, I ain't knows I have a freaking uh, Mirror Force, though. <laughs> Not Mirror Force, Monster Reborn. That's a shame. Um, get this in my hand. You basically get a thousand attack for every kind of spell you show for Madam. She's a good card to have two of. If you ever want to like make, it. I only have one of her. <laughs> Tell you this is the broke boy witchcrafter deck right here, man. Uh, I activate this as well. I'll probably send this stuff to the graveyard. It's most likely going to be Cypher and Gamma. A cyphering driver. Let's keep. I'll keep trying to go for this like double hit thing with her. I'm keeping this video. Take that back. I'm going to delete the first one. But when you're watching this, you be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> no, I'll keep this one instead. I want to make the video like too long. It's like one of my trouble things that I've been going through lately with making videos too long. But we'll see. Well, what is this? I never use this card, I think. The card you control will be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. You can destroy this card instead. Interesting. Uh, what's the play, though? <laughs> what's the play after that? You're going to play something that I can't beat? Oh, he thinks I can't kill him. Actually, can I, can I use that if uh, in your hand? You can reveal any number of spell cards in your hand if you do their battle with monster games. Battles of, oh, you, uh, battles of an opponent's monster. Ah. That's ass. Um, Alright, let me. Let me search. Let me search for uh, my other one that's. Got, got some heavy hit to him.
and play this too while I'm at it. Play this too while I'm at it. This only works if I have the number of spell casts by witchcraft and monsters, I believe. Let me see. 3,400. Oh, yes, this, this should be 4,700. Should be? 24. Oh, yeah, that's game. So there, there's your example of witchcrafters. <laughs> there's your example of witchcraft. You can. People actually use 60 card decks with this to, make, to combine with that. Um, the the this grass. My broke boy. Uh, Witchcrafter deck. So basically, I'd run for hand traps to cipher and gammas. Because you can, you can definitely use it because you, sometimes you won't have the witchcrafters on the field when you're doing stuff with it. Two of Jimny. As you saw, her effect is she can copy. Uh, she banishes a spell uh, witchcrafter card and then copies the effect of it when she's in the graveyard. This one has the effect of. If you have no cards in your hand, you can banish this card from your graveyard. The target one which card the card in your graveyard add to your hand. It can be a monster or a spell card. And this one, uh, Patari? Patari? Pataro? Ah, I'm, I'm always saying it wrong. Basically, her effect is the same with the whole thing. Especially summon if you discard a spell, spell a card with the witch characters. Her banish effect is I can draw a card and then send one witch card the card from my hand to the graveyard. So basically, if, if I have none to banish, I would banish my entire hand. It kind of sucks, but you know, you'll, you'll definitely have a card in your hand just to get rid of it. You can copy it with, not copy it, but basically you pop off other effects for it because uh, Skimity, Skimit, ah, uh, I'm just Red Girl. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm saying that totally wrong, but basically her effect is. The whole search of like sending the witchcraft to spell cards from the deck to the graveyard and then kind of adding them to your hand during the end phase if you have a spell uh, spellcaster on the field, a witchcraft spellcaster. I don't even want to run this card because I don't really like it too much. It has 2000 though, and I contribute it. I contribute this card and target one spellcaster monster in my graveyard except herself and special summon it. It can only use the effect of the Witchcraft Edo once per turn, which isn't bad. Uh, she has the same effect as or the other one. <sighs> why were y'all go? And she doesn't have a banish effect, so that's why I kind of didn't like her too much. And then I run two of the Hain. Hain has the effect of a quick effect of discarding a spell card and target one face of card my opponent the troubles and destroy it. Good interruption if you can pull it off. My bo boss monster, <laughs> my second boss monster, Madam Very, a bit a, and how you say it, she basically negates all my opponent's monster card, right? I uh, don't see, negates, negates the effects of all faces of monsters your opponent controls, currently controls. So basically, you use her to like stop some plays, but if they have more extenders, the other monsters that they summon or like play on the field after her effect resolves, don't get negated. But her other effect is another quick effect where the one you saw earlier where I can I can uh, show a spell card to my opponent and then however many spell cards I show if, when that spell cast the monster attacks, it gains attack times a thousand basically for however many cards it shows. If you have five spell cards you show to somebody, that's five thousand. This is my other go-to. Golem Aru. Aru? She's just cool. She basically just uh, sends stuff back. Great special summoning effect, and also just returning um, to witchcraft the spell cards from your graveyard to your hand. I like Aru a lot. Overall, the deck is super fun, and this is like my spell card race. You can run two pots because they don't have extra deck monsters themselves, and I just like throw in the extra deck cards I have like on the on the side right here. Trash. I don't really want to read trash, but I just I I want to keep this deck as a theme, so. For the side cards, I run the Rageki, the Heavy Storm, the Monster Reborn, two pots. You can run three if you want. I just have two like crafted. Three for Ben Chalice. And the right hand, a Magician's right hand, because it negates the effects of my opponent's first spell card or 
effect that resolves each turn. But you gotta have a spell caster monster to do it. Not hard, but sometimes in situations you just don't have it. And then Witchcraft of Creation. I, I would run three of this card if I had three, but I only had two. But really, it's the searcher of the deck. He searches the Witchcraft and Monster. This one is the Monster Reborn. If you don't have another Monster Reborn in your hand, it's targets the Witchcrafters Monster in your Garrett plus with some of it. The double attack for collaboration. The kind of like safe not being destroyed. I can only use it once per turn, but it comes in handy. You cannot, your Witchcrafter monsters cannot be destroyed by a battle and card effect once per turn. Not bad. Witchcrafter scroll. If my Witchcrafter monster destroys a monster, if Witchcrafter monster you control will discard. Oh, that's the other one. Uh, destroys a monster by battle. I can draw a card. And the other one is I can use this card as a discard effect for my Witchcrafter effects, and then I can also add it to my hand when uh, I, don't, I don't use it or during the end phase. I can control a Witchcrafter monster. Oh, my bad. The one Witchcraft to drape, Draping, I, I tend to run this card at three sometimes, tend to run at one, this depends on if you were running against a, like a trap heavy deck or like set up, your opponent sets a lot of cards and stuff. I just like the artwork to it. It's basically the giant Trunade <laughs> for the Witchcrafters, which is so fun to use. And my other one I run three of because sometimes I just have big bodies in my hand I can't do nothing with. Like, especially on the Witchcrafter monster from my hand, and if it do, your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to that special summon. And it has the same effect during the end phase. If I didn't use the effect, I can just um, add to my hand when I control a Witchcrafter monster. For their Witchcrafter spell, Witchcrafter trap card, I just add the ones that were in theme with the deck. So basically, this one is I can target a spell card in my in either graveyard, add to my hand, and I control a Witchcrafter card. I can add one card with the same name from my deck to the to your hand. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. And then during either player's turn, you can banish this card. I can banish this card and any number of spellcards from my graveyard. I'm supposed to summon one Witchcraft the monster from your deck whose level equal to the number of spells banished. So basically, I can just use it. I use it for basically the level ones or like the level twos. I, I wouldn't want to banish like high level, high spell card just to summon the big monsters with that effect. My other trap, you don't get to see this trap card like almost at all in my thing, but I can target one of my spellcaster monsters that is banished or in my graveyard and shuffle it into the deck. Basically, it recycles the banished spellcasters for like the witch guy when I use their banish effect, which is really fun. And if I do, I can add a rich character spell from my deck to my hand. And if this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there, you know, a lot of cards do that. I can banish this card and then target any number of your banished. Witchcrafter spells with different names add them to your hand. So really cool. I only run run, but a lot of people don't run it at all. I, I like because it's the thing with the deck. And the extra deck, you know, is anything random. Hope you guys enjoyed my Witchcrafter deck profile. I plan to be doing more matches with this in general because I actually like the deck a lot. And I'm, doing this video has helped me like, okay, I'm going to actually put some stuff into it. I'm working on currently a video for Noble Knights. And I'm working on currently a video for... Some more decks that you'll see, but basically, which characters came first in my mind because I wanted to actually put it out. And no more items coming out next, so stay tuned for that. That's all for a deck profile. That's all for like the duels for a day. Stay tuned for my next video. It's Ace Say, I sign out.